Well, this is going to be the first of many rants about Governor Kathy Hochul. And uh, um, this one, uh, like I said, is going to be many, all right? But she really, really uh, shows that this comment right here, we're not trying to win a popularity contest. Hochul defends mask rules as COVID rates source. The media is all over this, you know, focusing on the rates, uh, even though people aren't really getting hospitalized for it, uh, people are just drinking this up uh, like like no tomorrow. I, I, you know what I mean? Look, I had my booster. I'm vaccinated. Let's move on already. It, it, it's just ridiculous, uh, though. That she she's basically so focused on this, and I'm really worried she's going to try to have a shutdown. So I'm going to play this video for you because it shows. I think it has a quote from her. Uh, and you'll hear it in a minute. Um, I'll try to find it at least. Today's I, a big anniversary in the battle against COVID, too. It has and been the media is just all over this. The first COVID vaccine was administered in the United States. Her loved one restaurant side at the Met Museum, where it announced vaccine requirements starting. To show proof to indoor activity. Governor Kathy Hochul says that take a look at your screen right now. Out of everyone taking COVID tests and testing positive, the rate is over four and a half percent in Mid Hudson. Percent focused on the rates. Indoor- Chapter of this pandemic, it's been uh, the day. Then we will. Well, I, I guess they don't have the comment. Hospitalization. That's it. Against COVID. I wanting to go. Yep, that's how. this morning, and it's giving us a better idea. They don't have the comment on here. Okay, well, are. News 12 had the people. comment on their story, but whatever. You could see here it says, we're not trying to win a popularity contest. She said, look, I want to keep you open. You, you know what I mean? She is so focused on this pandemic. Uh, meanwhile, we have crime. We have all these kinds of issues. She's just brushing it off. All the Almost every other state in this country, the states in this country, except maybe California, have moved on. But no, I guess it's a pissing contest between New York and California as who? Who can be the worst state in the country? Um so uh, it's it's really unbelievable, and that people just go along with it. Uh, and she just constantly posts, uh, "What are all the people who have died from crime?" I guess they don't count, right? That's all she posts. It's all about the pandemic. Yeah, this is her COVID briefing. So she's holding COVID briefings now, like the previous governor. Uh, you know, she doesn't care what she does. It's, it's all about the, it's all about the pandemic. She doesn't care about what happened. It's, it's like, it's like forget about all the tornadoes and all the people that died from them. You know, you know, it's just unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. She has one video here of the damage in New York, but I mean, it's just, she's a lousy governor. All right, and you go to News 12 here. Uh, Curran said Kaminsky. So I actually like Cora Curran. She's not going to be enforcing this mask, mask mandate. You know, she is definitely somebody who stood out, I think, uh, from the rest of the sheeple. And uh, and she's actually very bold to say this. She called out Todd Kaminsky because uh, he approved bail reform. And that's probably right. He probably cost to the election. That's right, because he was running for DA. And that's probably what, what cost to the election. But I'm glad that we have Bruce Blakeman because Bruce Blakeman is not going to enforce the mandate. It says it right here somewhere. There's an article on it. Yep, wearing a mask is a personal choice. Thank you, Bruce Blakeman. Um, you know, it's a shame that these businesses uh, have uh, have uh, you know have uh, have given in like White Castle. I have a video already of this. Uh, White Castle, Lindbrook. Uh, they and I and look. I wasn't going in there to eat. I was just going to actually use the restroom uh, before I got on my bus. But uh, uh, they had somebody actually enforcing the masks, uh, and some of these other places are too. Walmart here, Shoprite. They have somebody out there making sure you have a mask on. So they're just drinking it up. They're just giving it in, um, you know, for you know, uh, you know, and uh, you know, requiring. Oh well, even if you're vaccinated. So they just want to keep this pandemic going, and then they go back to this. We're only going to have takeout again. So if you don't have a car, sorry, you're screwed. You can't eat in White Castle in Lindbrook. Uh, what a bunch of idiots that run that place, I'll tell you. And they're getting called out. If you close your dining room, you're a goddamn idiot. All right? That's all I got to say. And all these people that just go along with it, well, I'll just go along with it. You don't have to go along with it. You don't have to give in to the C- Kathy Hochul. Who died and made her queen? Nobody. You are not the queen, Kathy Hochul. You are not the queen. You weren't even elected as governor. You got in because of Cuomo and because Cuomo can't keep his hands off women. That's the only reason you're governor of this state right now. We certainly didn't make you governor. 
All right, so stop acting like it. You don't have a mandate for anything, bitch. All right, and uh, we've got to stand up against this. It's time to end this pandemic. It is time to talk about the other things that are going on in this world right now. Like crime, like climate change, like our infrastructure falling apart. Let's talk about that. Oh, and here's something else that's something that's pretty, fairly serious. Also, I'm going to put New England ISO. Uh, this is something that hasn't really been talked about at all that I'm going to bring up in this because here's another thing that we got to worry about. Rolling blackouts in New England because there's a supply chain shortage with natural gas. How about that? People losing power. No, let's talk more about the pandemic again. It's time to end this damn pandemic. And if we all stood up and stood up for our freedom right now, all right, and said, that's it, it's enough. We're not going to do it anymore. We're not going to put it, we're not going to put up with these restrictions on our freedom anymore. We have a vaccine. We have treatment. Let's move on.